thing. Set the scene for me. We're shooting in this part of Australia, the Gold Coast. I had never been to Australia. And where we shot was totally beautiful and wonderful. And also um, had a bunch of these cabaret shows, Ooh. like very sexy cabaret shows. Okay. And one of them was called Dracula's. And it's sort of like sexy vampire themed uh, cabaret show. Yes. Yeah, that gives you this, the idea. You uh -huh. can see the people behind me. Um, yeah, there's a lot of sort of like half-naked vampire people singing songs and doing funny <laughs> sketches. So this place was right around the corner from where we were staying, our apartments, and it had a huge billboard, and we passed it every day on the way to work. Okay. And the whole time, we got to go to Dracula's. And on my last night in Australia, we finally went. Okay. And I went with some of the cast, and so we get there, and all the people at Dracula's, all these actors, are in character the whole time as like, Sexy vampires. Sexy so you're walking vampires. in and they're like, <laughs> you know, and, you and we're it. waiting in line. Oh my gosh, yeah, there, it's like, it is actually a little scary. There was a moment where I kind of thought, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> and so it was very out of character when one of them came up and they were like, ooh, you'll never see the light of, oh my God, are you that girl? <laughs> from, you're from TV? And I was like, yeah. Yes, I am. And they were like, you're on TV. And I was like, I am. And then kind of like you were saying, she was like, I don't believe you. See? How do that I know? I was like, you don't believe me. You're the one that brought it up, first of all. Uh -huh. But I am. I don't know how to prove it to you. We had like a long back and forth about it. And then she's like, OK, I believe you. I'm so excited. <laughs> So now I enter this place and it's like a labyrinth. It's sort of like the haunted house ride at Disneyland. Like you get on a ride, you pass staircases and they're all filled with these actors in character. And I'm like, is it in my head? Or like, are some of these actors, I sense like they're recognizing me and I feel like, oh, you know, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. Um, so I get to my seat and this young shirtless boy vampire comes up to me so nervous. And he's like, excuse me. Are you Anna Kendrick? <laughs> and I said, no. Oh, no, okay. You told I'm him not. Wrong. And he was like, it's like he already had it planned me. out. I mean, all right. Yeah. <laughs> He'd already planned it. He goes, but I love you in Scott Pilgrim versus the world. And I said, what'd you say? Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go with it. That thing, it wasn't that right was the mine. I've never been better. Give me five for that. I mean, see, if it's a compliment, it's I'll a compliment. take it. So, you know, it's all the same. It's and all they, the and same. it'll be a memory they'll never forget. And now he might watch this show. And you'll get it right this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and I want to hear this. So you in this, you're in a singing group now. Well, yes, I sort of am in a singing group okay. again. Again. So, I have a cover band mm -hmm. with my best girlfriends. Nice. And basically, we started this a decade ago. These are my, my two best friends, Juliana Gwill and That's Serena Fialo. We're all actresses. We started this thing a, a decade ago with our uh, friends, this band called Joan Street Station. They're sort of like a bluegrass band. And you know, it was sort of like a way to pass the time. We're actresses. There's a lot of downtime. Yeah. We wanted to have something creative and fun to do. So this is a picture from, we just did a 10-year reunion show. So back in the day, we used to play the Viper Room and like Hotel Cafe, these little That's venues around fun. LA, New York. Yeah. And now this band that we play with, they have since moved all over the world. I mean, one of them lives in Finland. Flew in for a 10-year reunion show. It went off without a hitch. We did it in Highland Park, which is actually where I'm from. So uh -huh. things every, it all felt really full circle. That's and it was so fun. I love that. So do you get nervous still? That's um, a cool idea. Like, do you get I, nervous performing with them now since it's been 10 years? I get so nervous. Okay. I couldn't even believe like, I perform for a living, uh -huh. but leading up, the build-up to this show, and first it was all about selling the tickets, you know right. what I mean? So we were all, that's all we were concerned with, and my friends are texting me, we sold out the venue, and we were like, we sold out! And then we were like, <laughs> we sold out. See? Like, I it's didn't sleep. It's exciting scary at the same time. Oh my God, I, I didn't know. sleep the whole week leading up to doing it. Do you ever, I mean, of course you don't, because you sing you, all the time. You know, mm -mm. when I get in the wings of the stage, I forget the lyrics, I don't know my intro, sometimes oh my I put, take myself off the program, yeah. Y'all, it gets real, real. I, I, right before, you don't feel like that? Right before I walk out, oh my God, I canceled the whole event. And then as soon as you hit the stage, it's like, oh, this is home. Then I'm a rock star. A rock star. Born to be Y'all make us believe we're rock stars, okay? Right? You guys in two shots of whiskey, I totally <laughs> agree. Okay, now, now this I haven't done. You almost crowd surfed? I did. Now, Jennifer, <laughs> not doing that, okay? 
You know, no, come in the midst of the show, we get you're you're amped up, right? In the heat of the moment, I sort of threatened <laughs> to crowd okay. surf, and I started to do it, and very quickly sensed that this audience could not hold my full <gasps> weight. They could not hold my full weight, and I <laughs> so I kind of jumped back onto the stage. Nobody got hurt, but you can see you made it off the, the stage. My, indeed, you I back did. Up. My bandmates' faces. Johnny was excited. Like, don't do that. But my girlfriends Look were very nervous. Literally every single person. We saw this photo after the fact, and all of their faces were, oh, you know. <laughs> Apples never fall. It's so good. Can you tell us more about it? Thank you. Definitely. It's uh, based on a book by Leanne Moriarty. Mm -hmm. So she wrote Big Little Lies. Mm -hmm. It's also made into a show. Um, it follows this tennis family, the Delaney's. Uh, the parents played by Sam Neill and Annette Benning, have gone into retirement, um, and a mysterious stranger enters their lives, and then the mom disappears, and, you know, the whole family starts to unravel. It's a little bit of all the adult children trying to figure out what happened to their mom and who's responsible. And I heard it's a tennis family. So did yeah. you, because I remember when I did the movie Sandy, I was like, my uncle was a professional golfer, so I had to train to learn how to golf. Totally. And then I had a, a stand-in who didn't know how to golf, and then I had to step in and golf for the stand-in. Y'all got that? <laughs> okay, so did you have to learn how to play tennis for this? Yes, I did. Of course, I grew up in a tennis family. My okay. mom, my dad, my sister, my grandfather all played tennis. Um, my sister went to tennis camp. I rejected the sport completely. I chose to never play it growing up. Why? So I was at a total disadvantage going into this. I don't know why. Hmm. I wonder if I was just being rebellious like art oh, kid. I want to um, uh -huh. And I used to just believe I was totally unathletic, but in my adult life, I've been like embracing my athletic side. Yeah. So I was really excited to learn how to play tennis for the show. And we started out, I started taking uh, tennis lessons immediately. We get to Australia, we're practicing with like a tennis pro. And then very quickly, I think everybody realized that I, me personally, I only have one very short scene playing tennis on the show. And they were like, you're not going to get there. We're just going to teach you choreography. And so you went through all of it and didn't have to. I use thought I was going to come home like really good at tennis. And then we got to the set and they were like, you know what actually we can do for you, Allison, uh, is just put in uh, a ball later, like a CGI ball. <laughs> so then, so oh, then. Wow. I get home. I'm talking to my sister the other day, and is this is such a random community connection, but she was like, oh my God, I ran into Joel McHale's wife today at the market, and you know, they play a lot of tennis. I said that you and I should go play doubles against them, and I was like, what? I was like, I can't play tennis. I can only mime tennis. <laughs> really good with no ball. Well, see, he must have fooled them if they threw the ball in there because now your sister think you can play for real. That's true. The show's really selling it for Okay, me. well, that's good. It still works <laughs> out. But you say you wasn't athletic, but okay, what, you learned how to surf in Australia, so would that be considered athletic? Yes, it would. Mm. Thank you for saying that. See? You know? Who got this, I, I'm less athletic and more adventurous. And you are I adventurous. I feel like at this point in my life, I'm just like, yeah, let's try it. So yeah, in Australia, we went surfing. It, this is only because of one of our amazing directors, Dawn Shadforth, who was, she was being very adventurous. Yeah. So she invited a bunch of the women from the cast and we all went together, this great group of women at five in the morning on our one day off to learn how to surf. We had this incredible surf coach. Her name was Tracy. She had to be 70 years old. This is like the most badass woman I've ever witnessed. Clearly. I'm picturing surfing lessons like it's gonna be like point break with Keanu Reeves. Like we're gonna be on the sand for an hour, just like how do I pop up on the board? Um, but no, Tracy takes us out on the sand barely five minutes. She's like, so you're gonna get up, you gotta put your feet up, and we'd kind of get on the board and she'd be like, you're too far forward, you're too far back. Ooh, you gotta I like be that centered. Answer. I know it's I do a terrible Aussie accent. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, but truly, it uh -huh. was three to five minutes on the beach, and then we were in the minutes. water. But actually, it was great because it didn't give you time to be scared. And like, okay. I don't know what you're gonna learn standing on the sand. Do you know what I mean? Like, we learned it in yeah. the water. And honestly, it was scary. It's scary being in the ocean and the waves, are, the baby wave. Like, you could see the real surfers way far out, like surfing the big waves. And as those waves got much smaller, then we would swim out to get on them. But it was so nice to have a Tracy, because she'd just yeah. be like, I'd be just waiting forever, not wanting to go, and she'd be like, Allison, you're up, kind of pushed me right out. I threw you right on out there. And I got up a few times. You brave and you badass. Yeah.
I want to be like you. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.